and they'll say that we don't become tired and we're not burdened because we have a way out. What do you do? They'll say that in the previous times, everybody used to come and congregate in our houses. And this one used to enter and that one used to exit and then the house would be damaged. But now we found a way. Walillahi alhamd. Is this way that you found, that you've stopped the gatherings and the congregations? They say, no, in fact, we've increased in the gathering and we have opened the doors for everybody to in What do you do? We'll enter the mosques and we'll, we'll congregate in the mosques and everything will be in the mosque. Because for the mosque to be damaged, there's no problem. If a deceased person passed away, would you bury that person in your house? They will say, by Allah, no. And never have we seen a person being buried in their houses, but rather they'll want him to be buried in the masjid. So we congregate in the masjid, we'll eat in the masjid, we'll drink in the masjid, no, no. we'll sleep in the masjid, we're going to speak about politics in the masjid. And if you say to them, but the masjid is going to be damaged, they'll say, but why was the masjid built in the first place? And Allah subhanahu mentions in the Quran, the meaning of which is, and, more, and who is more oppressive than the one who prevents the name of Allah being mentioned and remembered in the masjid. So this is the most oppressive type of person.